Hello folks, I tell you what, don't let that sun deceive you, it's freezing today. Anyway, I've been shopping, I'll show you that later. I'm going to get the kettle on, since it's bank holiday Easter Monday, I'm going to have a special cuppa, <laughs> an Easter cuppa. I'll see you in a bit. Well, I've just been talking to Ray there, he's given us some tomato plants. And I've finished my cup out already. I've got a little slurp left. Ah. Right, folks. Hello. Welcome to Dave's allotment. Garden and all that kind of thing. Um, it's nice and sunny. It's, well, it's warm in the greenhouse here. But it's freezing cold. It was minus four this morning. Brrr. <laughs> um, but it is warming up. I know there's a lot of people getting quite a good hammering with the cold weather they did say it was going to get cold but as you can see in the greenhouse here everything's growing canny I only sowed these last week and they're up already I'll show you them later on anyway I've been shopping I went to the, the local allotment shop and I bought myself some fish blood and bone good old fertiliser because as you see, the, the plants are starting to, the, the seeds are starting to grow now, so it's nearly time to put them out. So I've got some seaweed, uh, some fish blood and bone, and some seaweed, calcified seaweed. I also got some Gromo and Finally, get it out there, get it out, a bag of blood. Now, that's what I use, Just chuck that down there, just be a little bug and all that. Eh, hey, aye, that's what I use for fertiliser, you can't go wrong as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, today, well I was going to put my broad beans in that oat and that and there, my onions, but it's a little bit too cold. I'll see how it goes later on. I need to put them out anyway to let them acclimatise to the weather because if you do, you're not supposed to just put something in the ground that's been in the greenhouse. It's, it's boiling hot in here. If you put them outside, that now the roots will just go, whoa, what are you doing? And they'll not like it. Anyway, hit the bag. Keep ups with the bag. <laughs> I'm blabbering on here. So today I'll be doing something. I'm going to pop these tomatoes on into bigger pots though because that's what needs doing. So I'll crack on. I'll see you in a bit, folks. Take care and all that kind of thing. Uh, I'll go and do something. Right, so the first job of today is to get these tomatoes into bigger pots. Because they need, need to be put into bigger pots today. They've been sitting in Ray's greenhouse all week. Um, so I've just filled the seed tray here with um, clover compost this time. Because I'm almost run out of Humax. And I was talking, well, Dean phoned us the other day and he was telling us that Humax, well, all companies now, I knew that uh, Pete was going to be like banned, but. It is banned now, so everybody's going to have to settle for rubbish compost from now on, folks. But this here, this clover, I mean, I have had the Humax, which is the new stuff in the green bags. It seems all right, but it's not any good for starting seeds off. Whereas this clover professional stuff seems to be the business. So... We might have to just spend a little bit more money on our compost from now on, folks. Which is a shame, because it sort of defeats the object. Anyway, I've got these five inch pots here. So I'm going to put these into there. So I've just half filled the pot. And the easiest way to transplant things like this, without disturbing the plant too much, is fill round, put the actual pot inside the pot you're going to transplant into and just fill around the edges until 
you've got the level that you want. Aye, this this clover is nice. Like I didn't think it would be uh, it would be hard to beat Humax compost, but clover looks like to be taken over. It is more expensive, but it's only a couple of quid more expensive at the end of the day. And uh, if that's the way of the world now, we're just going to have to put up with it. So I'm just firming around the edges here. Don't want no air. And I'm not like saying air. <laughs> you don't want no air in the compost around the edges. Because the roots ain't going to like it. So that's that there done. And like I say, all you need to do now is take it out the cup. Transplant it. Nice and gently into the pot that you've just filled. Voila! Right, I'll get on with these. And I'll do something else when I find something else to do. Ha! <laughs> See you in a bit. Oh, hey, cup of time number two. I've just been busy there digging. It's like a different world out there. It's boiling hot in this greenhouse. It's freezing cold out there. But a little bit digging soon warms you up. I'll show you what I've been doing later on. It's a bit windy to go like film outside today, so I just stayed here. Talking of wind, it is quite windy. I wasn't expecting, well, it said it was going to be cold, but they didn't say it was going to be gale force winds as well. Anyway, since it's Easter, and tradition is to source a pot. Blah, blah, blah. So since it's Easter, the tradition is to put some potatoes in, in Easter. So I will. I'm going to put these, uh, this is one of the Red Duke of York that I got off Matt. So I'm going to plant one into this 10 litre bucket. Because my thinking is... Now, I see a lot of people growing in them 30 litre pots. Well, this is a 10 litre pot. If you put three potatoes in a 30, 30 litre pot, one potato should do okay in a 10 litre pot. So, I'll see how it goes. So, I've just mixed a little bit of compost, both of the clover and the Humax, and then um, a little bit of this garden soil, because it's good stuff. And what I'm going to do as well is add some of this fertiliser. Give the potato the best start in life. So this is the fish blood and bone. Just a little sprinkling over the top. That should do. And also some of this seaweed. Now this is good stuff this. Calcified seaweed. Highly recommended. So just a little sprinkling of that. I'm going to have to find a better bag for this because it's uh, it's it's split. So I just put that there for now, and it's the same with this bag here. So I'm going to put some of the grow more in as well. Just a little hand handful sprinkling in. It's only in a 10 litre pot anyway, so it doesn't need that much. I'll give it a little mixing in. Lovely. So I'll fill a little bit on the bottom here. And I'm going to stick one red Duke of York potato in the bottom there. And fill it up. Gently, gently, as as you go over the chits, you don't want to break them off. All that time chitting and all of that would be a waste of time if you snapped them off. So I'm going to fill this right up to the top, then just leave it, see what happens. I 
I'll fill another couple up and uh, do the same again. See if they do if it does work or not. If it doesn't work, who cares? It doesn't matter. And all that kind of thing. <laughs> You've got to try things, man. Keep keep just trying. Experimentation, that's the key. Learn by your mistakes. Right. I think I'll, like I say, I'll do a couple of more of these buckets here and then I'll go back outside, do a little bit more digging. After this cup, or of course. Ah, season a bit. Right, I'm back in the greenhouse. Although, on this video, I've never been away from the greenhouse. I've been outside, I'll show you later. I'm going to do some more sowing of seeds today. Because it's still not too late, folks. So I've been preparing the seed trays, Uno does trays, and I will today be sowing some more broccoli, because it's still time, like I say, broccoli, kale, cabbages, all them sort of things, parsnips, they're all winter veg, which means they can, you can plant them later on, they'll still be alright during the winter. Right, so like I say, I'm going to put some more broccoli in and I'm going to put some more kale in as well because that other kale that I tried must have been old seeds, they didn't, they didn't germinate. So I'm going to try this. Borged it. <laughs> Thank you, one of these, uh, someone commented saying that it might be borged. Uh, boar kale or something that's the original name of it so let's find out ah, it's lovely in this greenhouse you, you, I'm sweating but it is cold out there eh? I've been digging preparing the land because it's almost that time so I'm going to put six more of these broccoli in half an inch deep as always and you can't go wrong unless there's something to matter with your seeds you should be fine these seeds are all right so these should grow all right everything's cool right that's the kale so sprinkling on the top there nice fine compost and a little ferment down before I give them the water it in excuse me folks ah, bless me eh uh, right so I'll put them over there for now and I'll put some more of these broccoli in same again half an inch and you can't go wrong make sure the compost's damp otherwise if it's too dry when you do go to water the, it'll just the seed will disappear <laughs> ah, it'll float at the top you don't want that get this open so this is the broccoli like I say I've got a couple of broccoli growing there bit few and far between so I'd, it's good to successional sow these in anyway it's good to su successional sow everything you don't want a, a whole load of veg all at once you want it to last all, all the season you know so that's them broccoli I'll move them over there in a second right so while it is still light outside I'm going to prepare where I'm going to put me broad beans I'm not going to put them out the day it's getting a bit late anyway now and I don't want to harm anything so I'm going to wait until this cold spell passes which shouldn't be too long at this time of year maybe it's by next weekend we can start cracking on but anyway I'll show you what I do when I start off to start off me broad beans now nah, laugh. So hi, right, follow me.
so as you see in there, I got me cultivator out first of all, I forked the land, make sure there was no more roots in there. Then I got me cultivator, as you seen, give it a good till tilling, and then I added some grow more. Now I would usually add the fish blood and bone and everything else to the, to the soil now, but it is a bit windy today and it'll just blow all over the place if you try it on a windy day. So I've just put the grow more in for now and next week, sometime this week should I say, I'll get the broad beans out and before I do that I'll give it a good little feed of fish blood and bone, blood and seaweed. Get it in. Right. What else is that to do? Anna, watch this. Come here. Right, sorry about that folks, um, my batteries ran out, that's why it just went like that. Anyway, I was, I've been busy there making my brassica cage, because it's around about that time as well. You, you want to cover your brassicas, get a net over, make a sturdy frame, so that's what I've been doing there. Anyway, it's getting a bit late now, I want to go home and get my tea and all that. Um, by the time I edit this video, it'll be getting on. So just before I do go, I'll get the kettle on and I'll sign off in a bit. So stay tuned folks, I'm telling you. Right folks, would you believe it? Right on cue, it starts to snow. Ha <laughs> ha, unbelievable. Um, I was just going to show you around while the kettle's boiling there. Because I forgot to show you. The early April tour of the allotment. Let's see what's been growing. Ah, that's a real lot. Can you see that snow? It's not much like, but wow. Um, anyway, th there's the daffodils. Look, they look nice. In amongst the crocosmia and the bluebells and what have you. I've just been busy today. I've got rid of all of that pile of weeds and I've put it on the fire pile. So this is all ready to go. Looking good. Ah, you and my batteries ran out before, so I didn't get a chance to show you. This is going to be where my cabbages are going this year. So I've been busy just starting off making the frame there. I'm going to make it here as it's getting a bit windy, folks. So I'll just quickly zoom ahead. There's my cabbage uh, brassica bed. I've given the garlic a little bit of feed. Oh, hey, it's freezing. <laughs> This side is done. I've just put that wood there for now. I'll show you. Look, that, that brush is still there, folks. And that's the way I'm going to put my broad beans. 
it's all prepared. So once this little bit of chilly weather goes, they'll be going out. Uh, he has some little bit of colour. Look, the tulips are up. Look, look nice, Sam, like, in amongst the... What's this, I've just noticed? Look at that, they look nice, don't they? Lovely! Hi, the uh, tulips, they're getting a bit of a battering. But they're withstanding all right there. Lovely, red. Nice. The rose bush is doing fine. And he's daffodil here. That's still going strong. There. And there's some more growing there. And our rose is coming back, as it always does. Eh, uh, anything else? Oh, aye, these. These have come up since the last time. Pretty little things, these pretty little flowers. I cannot remember what they're called, but I remember I got them from Hexham Market when I went up on a day trip with Paula. That was a few years ago now, mind. So they're, they're nice as well. Eh, uh, I take it into the greenhouse. Oh, I've just noticed some other. I'll show you them from the inside the greenhouse. The onions are here. I'm going to put them in that colder greenhouse. Let them acclimatise before they go out. Uh, aye, before I show you everything else, look at these daffodils down there. Nice, eh, Mike? So, anyway, last week I put some gutter peas in. They're up. Well, they're starting to come up there. So that's good. These are the broad beans. As you can see, they're doing fine. They're doing fine. Now that there's some sun. This grapevine, there, started growing. That one and that one. So that's good. If you look under here, the potato that I planted a while ago, started growing in that really bad compost so that's a good sign and there's the three pots of red Duke of York let's see how they go like I say it's a a, a 30 litre pot or three 10 litre pots let's see what happens right let's go oh there yeah the uh, sweet peas doing all right Leek's doing fine. I'll take you onto this side. There's the swede that I sowed last week. Up. The purple is sprouting broccoli. It's just started to make an appearance. And the marigolds are up as well. As are the sunflowers. And if you can see there, the sweet corn is poking its head through there. The beetroot is up. The lettuce is up as well. Everything's doing canny. The shallots that I potted on are doing alright. These are the tomatoes that I got off Ray. Sweet million. Me favourites. Aye, so there's, a, there's the broccoli that's already grown. I've put some more in today. Same with the kale. That's not coming to much, that, folks. Must have been old seed. Anyway, I've put some more in. It's plenty of time, like I say, winter veg. It's called winter veg for a reason. Underneath this little cloche thing there as you can see is the love lies bleeding and the lobelia have started growing now it looks like that they are violas but that doesn't look like a viola to me like looks like a cabbage or something but anyway the tobacco is up as well so we're all we're cooking on gas here cooking on the sun the sweet peas I've nipped them out, so once it warms up a bit, they'll be going into the trench. The cabbages, I've had to put this one on again because it's getting huge there. The rest of them are doing all right. Let's have a look at these potatoes. Still chitting there nicely, folks. They'll be going out in a couple of weeks, I should imagine. Never cast a clout or maize out. 
There's no sign of the daily as yet, but that's all right. The shallots up here are doing all right as well. And if you look under here, folks, whoa, haha, <laughs> there is the cucumber that I sowed. Two seconds, folks, while I just get that lid. I so I'm pleased with that. The cucumber's up. No sign of the jalapenos yet or the tomatillo, but I'm not worried. Not worried. What's the temperature in the greenhouse at the moment? 11.8 degrees Celsius. Which is alright, I suppose. Aye, so let's see. Is there anything else I can show you before I sign off? No. Right. I'll stick you back on the tripod there, folks. I'll go and get me cover and I'll sign off. See you in a bit. Right folks, cuppa, last one of the day, that's it. It's just a few more things to say before I go home. And that is, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, liking and subscribing. Welcome to my new subscribers and hello and thank you for subscribing to everybody. Cheers. Right, as I say, that's that. I hope everybody stays safe. And hopefully we'll be getting back to normal soon. Fingers crossed. And all that kind of thing. So, once again, thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. See you on the next one. Bye. Right. For all you people that are still here, there is one more thing I'm going to do today. And that is draw the winner for the SF Spider Farmer 300 Grow Light. Woo! Eh? <laughs> I bet you thought I'd forgot. Well, I hadn't. Um, two weeks ago, I made a video. And it, 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 for, for those people who are thinking, eh, what competition? I didn't see no competition. Well, that's because I didn't call it giveaway, video giveaway. That I, I wanted to... I wanted someone who watches me videos to actually win the thing. So, thank you for everybody who did um, comment saying it's still late till 6 o'clock. Hardcore. You are all entered into the, the giveaway. Now, I was overwhelmed with how many responses I, I actually had. I didn't think everybody did actually watch the videos till the end. So what I'm going to do is, instead of doing the stupid hat name pull thing, because there's over 200 people, and that's, it'll take his ages to write all them out. So what I'm going to do is use one of them YouTube number generator things on the computer. So when I go home, I'm going to, you'll see, I'll, I'll do a screenshot video of the actual thing if I can suss it out <laughs> um, and I'll see us back home on the on the computer and all that but like I say 200 and odd people uh, entries and all that um, I'm getting a bit lost for words now folks <laughs> um, let's get back on track aye so if you want to well if you want to win a SF Farmer 300 Grow Light, you should watch me videos in the future. <laughs> all of them. All of it. <laughs> you never know what you're going to miss. So, like I say, I'll see you in the house if I can figure it out. All the names are going to go into the thing. Now, there was, there was a few people, that's what I was going to say. There's a few people who didn't say uh, it's still late or 6 o'clock. So, what I'm going to do is, to make it fair, because this, you, the, the number generator thing will include them as well. So, what I will do is, and if you did comment on the video, um, and you didn't put, it's still late or 6 o'clock, I'm going to delete them comments. So, sorry about that. Uh, if you did comment and d you didn't put, uh, it's still late till 6 o'clock, but that's the way it goes. 
and it's the only fair way of doing it if I'm not going to do the name out the hat sort of thing. Anyway, I'm blabbering on now. I'm going to finish this cuppa and I'll see you in a bit. See you on the next one, folks. Take care, stay safe and all that. Uh, and if I figure out this random generator thing, I'll see you in, in a minute. <laughs> see you in a bit, Reed. I'll finish this. Bye. Right, okay folks, as you can see, I'm on my computer now, and I'm on my main screen. Now, if I go to manage videos here, and I'll, I've just went through and deleted all of the comments that didn't say it's still late at 6 o'clock. So, there was 218 altogether. So if I go into the editing thing, pick a winner. And choose from all comments. So, like I say, I've deleted all of the comments that didn't say um, it's still late till 6 o'clock. And this will pick a winner, obviously. So, it, it, it's instant as well. Like, there's no sort of drum roll, please, type of thing. It's just bang. So, congratulations. Whoever wins, good luck, the wall, should I say. And, uh... Let's begin. Pick a winner. Click. Paul McDade. Well done. If you give us a Facebook message on my Facebook page, uh, Dave's Allotment, I will then, you have to send us your, um, your address and I'll get the light posted off to you. Splendid. Well done, Paul McDaid. Right. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and all that kind of thing. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.